have an application here which lists products. And the issue is that this page takes a while to load. You can see if I hit reload in the browser, I don't get the response back for a couple of seconds. Now, this shouldn't be of any surprise to you because we all know that Rails doesn't scale, right? Okay, not really. I'm just sleeping for a couple of seconds inside of this controller action to simulate a slow request. Now, if you have a slow page like this, you might consider using page caching to help speed things up, like I showed in the last week's revised episode, number 89. So let's try that here. I can do this with a simple call to caches page index. Now to get page caching to work, I'll need to enable it in my development config file, just setting perform caching to true, and then you'll need to restart the server for that change to take effect. So now with page caching enabled, the first time I load this page, it'll still take a couple of seconds, but every time after that, it will be very fast because it's loading from the cache. Now this works because it saves that HTML into a static file. But we have a problem here, and that is we have some dynamic content in this HTML document that is specific to this user. You can see we have this login status for this given user. So this means that any user that comes to this page will see this logged in as admin status. And even if I try to log out here, it does log out behind the scenes and brings me back to this page, but it's still showing me logged in because this is statically cached. Now we could look into other kinds of caching such as fragment caching, but that'll also be an issue because we have these edit and destroy links niche next to each product, and these should only show up if the user is currently logged in as an admin. So we have a lot of dynamic content here that is dependent on the current user. Now one possible solution is to stick to page caching but hide all of this dynamic content and then load it back in through JavaScript. And that's what I wanna show you how to do in this episode. First, I'm going to just disable this page caching and this two second wait so that we can focus on getting everything working. And I'm also going to remove this HTML cached file so that there's no longer a cache. So now when I reload the page, it falls back to its proper logged out status and hides all of the administration links for managing the products. The first step is to go into the view template. Here's what that index template looks like that lists the products and hide anything that's dynamically based on the current user. You can see I have the admin links here that are only shown if the user's currently an admin using this helper method. But let me remove that because this is conditional behavior on the current user, but I'm still going to keep these admin links here and then hide them through CSS. I'll do that inside of the products SCSS file here. Just set products admin and set the display to none by default. So now when I visit this page, the admin links are there just invisible. But if I log in as an admin user, then I want them to actually show up through JavaScript. So I'll do this by adding some code to my product's CoffeeScript file here. First, I'll make sure the DOM is loaded by calling jQuery. And then I'll check if I'm on that specific products page by seeing if that div exists. And then we just need to show the admin links if the user is an admin, but the JavaScript here doesn't know the current user's status. So I'm going to do this by making a separate request to our Rails app by calling get script and then passing it off to a given controller action that's designed to handle this. Now, this could be any controller action you want, but I'm going to use the users controller show action by just calling users slash current. And this could be really anything you want but I'm just using current here to be a little bit descriptive that it is meant to be the current user. Now I have a user's controller already set up to handle user registration, so usually you will have this if you're doing some kind of authentication, but really this action could go anywhere. So I'll just make a show action inside of here. I'll leave the uh, controller definition blank, but I will make a separate template here for handling the JavaScript request. And in here we can detect if the current user is an admin, and if so, we can just show the admin links using some jQuery here. And that way this will be evaluated on the client side browser. So now when I'm logged in as an admin and reload the page, there are my edit links and destroy links that show up. But when I log out as an admin, they are hidden. So now we just need to handle the rest of the dynamic content on this page, which includes the flash message and the user status section. Now both of those are inside of my application layout file right here. Now the first step is to move this into a partial. I'm going to call it a dynamic header. And I'll need to fix this up a bit. Mention that it's under the layouts directory because it placed it under that directory. And just like that. 
Now I only wanna show this dynamic header unless I am doing page caching because then we want to hide that dynamic content. Now unfortunately there's no easy way to detect whether or not I'm doing page caching on a given action, so I like to use an instance variable like this. But this means I'll need to set that instance variable in my controller on whatever actions I'm doing page caching, just set it to true. So reload this page and there goes our dynamic header. So now it's time to bring it back again through some JavaScript. And I'll do that inside of the same user show action where I'm showing the admin links. So in here I want to grab my container div and then prepend that with that dynamic header. So I'll need to render that out. I'll escape the JavaScript here, call render, and pass in the uh, layouts uh, slash dynamic uh, header partial there, and just like that. So now with that in place, we can enable page caching again, and I'll enable this sleep again as well so we can see it in action. And I'll try this out, reload this page here. So the first time it's gonna be cached, then every time after that, it's going to be loaded up uh, instantly from the cache. And then if I uh, log in here, through the admin account, you can see it dynamically updated the header, even though this is from a page cache and shows the edit and destroy links for the admin because I'm logged in as an admin. It works. Now the performance of this won't be as great as plain old page caching because we're still sending a separate request to our Rails application to fetch the user specific dynamic content. However, hopefully this uh, content is small enough that the request will be very fast and it won't be too much of an issue. However, if this is an issue, you may consider caching these user details on the client side inside of a cookie when the user logs in. So that way, you don't have to send a separate request to the Rails app to determine the user's admin status or name and so on to display there. You can just do it all on the JavaScript side based on that given cookie. Now that given solution is out of the scope of this episode, but it may be worth investigating if performance is an issue. I want to finish off by mentioning one more thing back in the layout file, and that is there is one more piece of user-specific dynamic content here, and that is the CSRF meta tag. So it's a good idea to hide this for page caching as well, so that way uh, the page that's cached doesn't contain that user-specific detail. Well, that's it for this episode on adding dynamic content to a cached page. I hope you found this useful.